All right, hello and welcome. Welcome, welcome. So, latest update. We've got um, update 1.44 just landed. Um, so today we're gonna to be checking this out live, um, totally unscripted. So <laughs> I'm just totally, um, yeah, gonna wing this, go through some of the cars. Um, we'll look at some of the tracks. I've actually got myself a bit of a list here. You probably can't see that, but I've tried to make sure we're gonna go through everything that's in the update drop. Um, so we don't miss anything out. Start with the cars. Menu books. We're going to be looking at some races that have been dropped. Um, there's a new time trial in there. There's been some sneaky changes to the BOP on one of the cars, um, which we'll reveal and go through that in, in a bit of detail. And see if we can suss out if that's going to become um, like the meta car, a bit like the Mazda was in previous weeks. Um, we know there's been an engine swap uh, released for one of the cars. Um, and then if we get time, we'll jump into an open lobby after that and we'll just thrash around some of the cars and see how they go on the track. 
So without further ado, let's jump into it. So this is our kind of patch notes here. Uh, you can see the three new cars we've got, the Toyota GT1, we've got the Audi R8, the V10, so looking forward to that, um, and then the Lamborghini Urus, um, which if we're being brutally honest, is almost a bit like an, an Audi in disguise, um, for those people who will know. Um, so yeah, looking really forward to this, so let's let's jump into it. First car we'll try, I think, will be the... Toyota GT1. So surprising. So you can find this in the uh, Haggerty kind of auction house. Now I'm quite surprised by this. 2.5 million. I think that's quite cheap for some of the pricing that's being put out on these cars. Um, I don't know what you guys think in chat and things like that. But uh, yeah, 2.5. I was expecting more like 20 million if I'm honest. Um, sometimes the prices can be a bit crazy. But let's go ahead and get that. There we go. Uh, so we'll jump into that. Um, and to, to test it out straight away, let's go and jump into the new time trial that's been released. And we'll just do a couple of laps. I'm not going to try and go for gold straight away. Um, but I'm just keen to use this as an, an opportunity to give this car a quick try. Uh, so we're in the right car. We're going to need it on racing mediums, which we've got already. Yeah, um, so then we will give it a go. Yeah, Jarvis, yeah, you're right. 8.5 billion probably would have been kind of the ballpark we were expecting as well uh, for this car. So I'm quite pleased with it. I'm loving the uh, the rev dials, like the the shifter lights, pretty cool. Feels very uh, stable though, certainly at high speed. Brakes are pretty good. It's not like some cars where. You slam on the brakes and it'll kind of squirrel a little bit under braking, but this is quite steady. Oh, it's got a great sound, doesn't it? Breaking a bit later there, just to see how we can how we can stop on a, a sixpence if we need to. I love the crackles and pops of the exhaust. I suspect the uh, trick to this will be um, early upshifts coming out of corners. Hey Ernie, how are you doing mate? So we'll just do one more lap I think. As I say, we're not going to grind this out just now, but um, Having a quick go to see what this time trial is like and test out the new car and then we'll go and pick one of the other cars. We'll probably get the um, the Lamborghini Urus next I think. Oh 
Oh, just getting, getting a bit wide there. So, looking forward to uh, trying this car in some of our racing. that open lobbies we could do uh, a Le Mans kind of group C style uh, Le Mans cars that'd be good there we go that's the new Toyota GT1 very impressed with that actually Very cool. Right, on to the next one. Okay, so Brand Central. Uh, straight into Europe. And let's go find Lamborghini. And there we go. So this is uh, the new Lamborghini Urus. So if we can see some dynamic scenes on this one. But uh, yeah, it looks pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and equip that actually. And what we'll do is we'll jump into a quick quick race with it because they've added a new race for this uh, series so where are we manufacturer uh, there we are Sounds pretty beefy. Okay, um, so there is, I believe, a new uh, circuit race for this car. Let's just go find it. There we go. I think it's the Clubman 600, if I remember correctly. So there we go. We've got four laps. Um, I'm going to put some, some better tyres on just to uh, give ourselves a bit of a head start on that. So, first time driving this car. Zero miles on the clock. Inside view. Well, you feel very high up. <laughs> That's one thing. It's very kind of disconcerting being in a Lamborghini that's this kind of high up. It's It just feels a bit wrong. Oh, I've lost it already. Turn one. Let's retry that. It's certainly got the pace. I guess we need to remember that this is a big, heavy old car, isn't it? It's got a lot of weight to shift around. So you can't expect it to um, to drive the same as things like a, a Huracan or a, a Ventador. It can stop reasonably well. But I think if you go mad with it, you know, you're going to end up flying off. So as long as you drive it for what it is, um, 
it's quite enjoyable. There's quite a bit of uh, roll to it, which I suspect is the high travel kind of suspension. And it will be fairly sporty suspension, but given its clearance, I suspect that's what's giving it the roll. And you can definitely feel that coming out the corners. It's kind of just lumbers around a bit. A little bit of uh, crackle and pop from the exhaust, but not quite as much as I was expecting, if I'm honest. I think once we put the um, racing exhaust on and things like that, if you were to tune it up and make it a bit into a, a performante type Lamborghini with all of the add-ons, I think then it'll probably have a bit of a more of a throaty sound, but it sounds okay. There's our other Urus overtaking that one. Watch out for the Mayura. Mura. Um, a very expensive car to crash into. So there we go, Lamborghini Urus in the game. This is uh, certainly going to be one of those ones for Lake Louise, isn't it? It's going to be great with some snow tyres on it. That's what we'll have to do with an open lobby race. Get this on on the snow, drifting it around. It'll be great fun. bit wide there. Let's, uh, let's take that traction control off because that's when you really start to feel what the car is going to do. What do we think in chat? Have other people tried this car yet? What, what's the verdict? Are people liking it? Not liking it? Fairly indifferent? I know it's not going to be one that we use day in, day out, is it? Oh, I got that corner a bit wrong. I think if you needed a daily driver and you had to put plenty of cash lying around, this wouldn't be a bad choice, would it? It's probably a lot more comfortable than driving around in a kind of two-seater sports car with really hard suspension and uh, poor kind of fuel economy. Uh, so this is maybe a bit more suitable for the roads. Germany this time for the Audi and there we go 300,000 a bargain an absolute bargain what color do we go for do you think I'm going to go for a white but uh, let's go for the Ibis white It'll be very particular the right white if it's an Audi, it's got to have the right Audi white. There we go. Uh, we'll change it into that. 
Let's go and have a quick look at the, um, the specs on this. Now, if I, I don't know if it'll let me. No. Just to give ourselves the engine noise, and I'll I'll stop talking so you can listen to this. Pretty good, pretty good. So what have we got? Four wheel drive, 600 horsepower. Naturally aspirated engine. Let's, let's go use it. And we've got a new race we can try this out in. Um, so for speed, what I'll probably do is bring up the event directory. This is a fairly recent addition to the game actually, adding this directory to quickly pull up all the races here. Find the ones that are new. So we've got the high speed ring. <laughs> yes, Drac, it's a Tony Stark's car. <laughs> I love it. Um, so here we are 700 or less PP. Um, I might be able to sneak in some softs. Let's have a look at what that's going to do to our PP rating. Yeah, we're okay there, I think. Um, so let's give it a try first first drive in the Audi R8 I feel like I'm sat on the floor now compared to the Urus this feels like I'm in a go-kart or something whoa and it's really shifting it's really moving start finish full power we're doing now 180 miles an hour and it's still going there's our 100 board whoa big 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 slide I think I'm changing down too early that's probably what's causing us to uh, spin out and lose the back end there maybe and that time just lost my braking zone completely it's great fun to drive though it's got just the right amount of kind of fear factor where you know, with a kind of Lamborghini, how you think, oh my god, I'm going to die, I'm going to die, I'm going to die. This has got a little bit of that, but not too much. It's not boring, but it's not crazy either. It's got a nice balance. There's another V10 We're passing. Sounds pretty good through that tunnel. You can get some good kind of four-wheel drifts here, four-wheel power slides. Is it just if you if you kind of do a dab of the brakes into the corner, and it just goes. Okay, buddy. Uh, let me try and sort that delay out. I'll probably pause it here a second and try and work on that. Right, 
Right, give me two seconds, everyone. Uh, I will try and fix out why the game audio is slightly like lagging behind. So let me try and fix that. Okie dokie. So we're back. A um, little bit of tinkering with our streaming OBS setup. So fingers crossed that's done the trick. Whoa, big slide. Um, let me know in chat if that's uh, fixed it. If not, it might be one I have to uh, look at for our next time round. Because um, there's only so many things you can change, unfortunately, during uh, a live stream. But hopefully a little bit of tinkering might have done the trick. This is going to be a good car to use, I think, for the um, the lobbies as well. We'll have some good fun racing around in these. So, this is the Audi R8. The V10 edition. Let me bring it to the outside view.
Excellent. Oh, we're almost going to lap a car here. So there you go. The new Audi R8. A little bit bumped and scratched where I uh, scraped some of the walls and things. Okay, so we've looked at all three cars now. We've looked at a couple of the tracks. Uh, the new races, sorry, that's been added. Um, now there's a new menu book as well. I'm going to show you guys that. So let's go see the new menu book. Um, we can find that in the cafe. Extra menus. Um, I managed to get most of them done. The elusive Bugatti Veyron, the old school one, is still escaping me. But um, for, for the most part, I've, uh, I'm doing okay. And here we go. We've got a new Jaguar um, menu book with a pretty cool reward. The Jaguar D-Type. Um, now, I'm missing one car and just... As it happens, this car, I believe, is on sale at the moment, so we should seize the opportunity and go and pick this up before it's gone. Um, so let's go and have a look at that. And here we go. That's the one we're after. Three million. So it's taken a bit of a chunk out of our, uh, our piggy bank there, but um, let's go for it. XJ R9, a bit of a classic. Excellent, and let's go and uh, complete that menu book. So there's our Jaguar collection complete. And we win the 1954 Jaguar D-Type. Now I'm not sure if I've already got this car. One free, yeah exactly, one free car for the price of three. It's a... Uh, Grand Turismo logic, isn't it? Some good history there. This uh, Jaguar XR9, this purple one. I actually had one of those on a scale electrics track when I was younger. I remember uh, it flying off on one of the corners and having to try and piece it back together again. Awesome. So we did suspect that we might already have um, a car, uh, a Jaguar D-Type already in our inventories. Now if, there's a, if you want to check for duplicates, one quick way to do that, I find, is go to the used car dealership, go to this car valuation service, and if you fly down here, you can see if there's a little number two next to it, that means you've got two or more of them. So it's an easy way to skim through your garage and find out where your duplicates are and if there's things you want to sell. Um, obviously, it's fine if you've got a couple where you want to have multiple versions of it, but 
if you just want to see where that is, then it's a good way to find them. So scrolling through, I don't think I've seen it. Oh, was that it there? Yeah, there it is. So um, we've got just the one of those. So I'll probably keep that. But looking at this, um, the car it's gifted us there is worth 3.3 million credits. So not not a bad one. Um, and if you've already got that, you know, then that's 3 million credits you could uh, sell it for straight back into your bank. Cool. Now. I did promise to showcase um, a BOP change and um, one of the cars that's had its BOP changed but is a bit of a um, a bit of a fault in how they've done it I will show you now it is a group 3 car and it's the Ford GT so what we might see in group in um, daily daily route grace I can't speak Daily Race C um, is this car here, the Ford GT LM Spec 2, so it's the test car rather than the uh, the other ones, um, it's this, this black one. This has had 60 horsepower added to it um, over and above all of the other Group 3 cars. So it's going to have that straight line speed um, and it'll pull away I suspect from other cars on the, on the grid. So one to look out for and actually I think I might buy that because it's not in my inventory yet. What we could do is give it a go. Go and do a quick quali of um, of Spa and see how it fares. So let's go have a look at that. So a daily rear seat, off to Spa, uh, we've got the, ah interesting, okay, so I was expecting that this would be an applicable car to use here, but it looks like um, there's only certain cars on the grid that are allowed, so maybe this week um, daily rear seat shouldn't be upset or impacted by this. You can see just down here. Flashing there is Ford GT LM race spec car, but it's not the test one. So what we might see is if there's a Group C race next week where it's a bit unrestricted and you can pick any Group 3 car, then that's going to be uh, top tier, isn't it? Uh, but there you go. What I'm thinking I'll do is just before we start a lobby, because I'm I'm keen to uh, race around with a few guys and try out some of the new cars. But just before we do that, I'm going to have a blast around the Lake Louise. Or we'll get some snow tires on. So I believe it's America's, uh, just there. Now then, can we use the pickup trucks here, do you think? No. Um, Four-wheel drive. We can probably do a time trial. Looks like these are all going to be locked down. What we'll do is... We'll open up the lobby. We'll we'll do it in there, and then we can uh, we can customize it. Then can't we? We can set the race just as we want it. Urus, if you don't have it already, um, and get some snow tires put on it. So that's what I'm going to be testing out now. There we go. Oh, that looks cool, doesn't it? Lamborghini on ice. What more do you want? Just gonna have a quick drink before we, uh, the old Lucas in.
<laughs> this is mad. Oof. Right. Let's figure out how to join how to drive this thing on snow. I'm gonna turn traction control off, which could be a disaster. Hello, smooth operator. Thanks for joining. I don't know if that's a reference to uh, Carlos Sainz. I know that's his uh, his soundtrack, isn't it? Smooth operator. Hey, this thing feels all right. Don't want to speak too soon, but it digs in all right. It's sometimes you find on snow, just that lack of grip, and you know it doesn't quite dig in. But this is all right, and it the power you wouldn't want it to be too much more powerful than this, because then it would be I think pretty hard to control. But um, it's quick enough. Let's have a go at doing some power slides. Where's my handbrake? There it is. Very cool. This is great to drive. Great fun. Oh, <laughs> good job. Uh, it's not my car. We're not not paying for the damages. Yeah, for those using a wheel, I find here, if you kind of rotate, what is that? Not not 180, 90 degrees, if you kind of flick it 90 degrees, you can nicely flick it into corners and then catch it again. So let's see if I can do it here. So 90 degrees that way, and then when you're finished, full back the other way, and it's just straight back in line again. Sometimes you find with cars that they'll just wiggling all over the place but this is uh, quite easy to catch when it's in a slide Big slam. I think we're going to see some fast lap times on ice with uh, this car. I think people will be absolutely belting it round. Yeah, you've got to turn off that traction control, otherwise, as you're drifting it round, sliding it round, you want that power to be kind of untethered. <laughs> you want full power to really kind of give it the beans and get it back in line. Um, whereas if you had traction control on, it's 
going to keep cutting the power away from you. And he'll just be crawling around the corners a bit then. Very much enjoying that. Oh, just, just about made that one. few bumps and scrapes on it now. Bouncy, bouncy. I think the only thing I would want to do with this car is put the racing exhaust on it just to give it a bit more of a crackle and a pop. Purely just for the uh, the drama of it. I don't think it needs any more power necessarily. Um, most Yeah, it's mostly fine. And if you're trying to compete with this against, you know, the two-seater sports cars, then you're kind of in the wrong league, aren't you? In the wrong car. Um, it's probably got the power to keep up with them on the straight line. But uh, when you hit a corner, you'd uh, really struggle, I think, with this. It's just purely because of the weight in it. Right. Got a few people in the lobby now, which is really good. Um, might set, kick a race off in just a second. Let's go see what cars people are in. How are we doing? We've got a great selection of cars there. Lots of Lamborghinis. Big welcome to everyone. Um, how are we doing, Jaris? Jaris, are you ready enough? Yes, the GT1 GT Army, yeah. The GT1, brilliant car from, uh, I remember that from the older games as well. What we could do after this race is maybe uh, dig that one out and um, yeah, do uh, a Le Mans race with it. Gran Turismo 2, yeah. What a throwback, eh? It's amazing how far this game's come now. When you look at the, the graphics, the the kind of physics engine behind it, um, all the multiplayer stuff, you know, it's amazing, isn't it, where the game's come from. Okie dokie. Um, see if Jarris is ready to start, and if so, we'll we'll kick it off. Let's 
Yeah, I think what we left behind. Yeah, I don't know if there's... Um, I don't know if there's cars. What cars would you have wanted to be in this that, that have been left behind? Um, I'm thinking back. A Mini Cooper, smooth operator. That is, <laughs> that is a uh, that is a fine choice. Okay, okay. I'm gonna kick it off. Um, we can always do another one if. Um... Let's go for it. Let me know if the uh, audio is okay, guys, in the uh, in chat. If you can hear um, the racing and me speaking and all that good stuff, and that there's no kind of lag. I think we've been t tinkering with the settings again just to try and fix it. Yeah, GT Army, I think you're you're dead right. I think what I might do is put a video out about Gran Turismo 4. Go back and look at some of the old tracks, the old cars, and we'll do a bit of a throwback. Um, and you never know, it might, if we get enough views, it might even spur Polyphony Digital to actually revisit some of the... Uh, the things and bring them back, bring them into the game because I wouldn't be surprised if they've still got some of the basic kind of wireframes from those cars and, and tracks um, that they could expand on and the half the way there right in terms of being able to bring them new things into the game if they've got some of that old content on older games I'd be surprised if they throw it away after they've uh, designed it and built it and gone to all that trouble Right, I'll try not to lose my concentration here. I don't want to be crashing into people. Um, let's put that bigger bigger map view on. And that's a slightly better view, isn't it, when you're like this? No worries, Jaris. Yeah, we'll catch you in the next race. We'll probably go and do the Le Mans. I know you're a fan of that track, so we'll dig out the GT1 and have a blast around in those. I am not very quick around these sort of uh, snow tracks. It's the exit of the corner. I seem to kind of dwell on the uh, the exit of the corner a little bit, and I need to get going. I need to remember that we're trying to do a qualifying lap here, and uh, we're just enjoying the sliding too much. I do like it when they add these kind of 4x4 SUVs into the game. I know we don't use them day in, day out. We don't use them that often, do we, for our races, for lobby racing and things. It's a bit like when the Jimny was added, right? Remember the Suzuki Jimny? We went mad for it, used it a bit, and then it's probably now gathering dust in our garages. Um, and we might never use it again, if we're honest. <laughs> Unless it's kind of for a specific event. Don't know if this will be the same with the Lamborghini Urus, because it's got a bit more flair about it, hasn't it? Maybe a little bit more usable in terms of its speed and power. Uh, yes, GT Army, I'm streaming through a PC um, with OBS and then a kind of capture card onto the PS5, so... If I can, um, if I can 
get Gran Turismo, Gran Turismo 4. I know it'll be on PlayStation um, 4, but should be able to do it on PS5 as well. I'll try and get that set up and see if we can do a throwback video. It'll be very nostalgic, won't it? One thing I've been meaning to do for a little while is actually do a walkthrough of the uh, setup, the streaming setup I've got, because I've learned absolutely loads and loads of tips and tricks from friends um, in the community, in our Gran Turismo community, who are also streaming, uh, and I wouldn't have got where I am now without their help, so that's a massive, massive thanks to those people. Um, I'm not going to call out names because there's too many to mention, and those people know who they are uh, that have helped me, but um, I will at some point try and do a bit of a walkthrough or a breakdown of kind of how I've got it set up, some of the things, tips and tricks that I've learnt on the settings and, um, and some of the mistakes I made as well going into it where it's kind of like you don't need to buy all the lo lots of gear to start off with, you can do it you know with some of the basic equipment. Um, and then it's just when you want to be a bit more customizable that you then start to need to um, get get a few more things. Right, just go off the line now to finish the qualifying. Ah, I see GTR. You're right, of course. Here's me thinking it's PS4. It's Grand, yeah, Grand Turismo 4 is an absolute throwback, isn't it? So I need a an emulator or PS2. Um, I definitely don't have a PS2 anymore. I did have one, but I've got no idea where it went or what I did with it. It's like those old games consoles. It's like I used to have one of those, but I just don't remember where it went and what happened to it. Um. Ah, hi, Oblator. Welcome, welcome. Are you uh, are you joining us in this race? I don't know if it'll let you ready up because we've just done qualifying. Are you, are you racing? Doesn't have to be the Lamborghini if you haven't got it with you at the moment. Still got a PS1. Nice, nice, nice. I remember playing Spyro. Is, remember, is it Spyro the Dragon game on PS1? Um, that was good. Right. I'm going to go ahead and kick this off. It's only five laps, and then we're going to Le Mans next. I better send this before it starts. No, can't type fast enough. I need a quirk, quirky keyboard or something to be able to type a bit faster. <laughs> yeah. Get, rev them engines, let's go. I love these tyres with the studded tyres, it looks brilliant. Traction control off, let's go! Oh, thanks Jairus. Thank you for putting that message on, buddy. <laughs> it's, it's chaos in turn one. We wouldn't have anything different, would we? I've got that Smooth Operator song stuck in my head now. Smooth Operator. Carlos Sainz. I'm not going to try and do his accent. But if anybody watches uh, Formula One kind of Facebook memes and things like that, you, you'll have seen there's a pretty good impersonator. I think his name's Connor, an Irish lad who does most of the Formula One drivers and his uh, 
His impressions are absolutely spot on. <laughs> I am actually learning Spanish, but I'm not Spanish. I've got Duolingo and I'm learning Spanish purely just because I went on holiday to Spain once and thought, you know, I'm actually going to put the effort in and try and uh, speak a bit of the language. And I've just kept it going. Um, I can't profess that I'm very good at Spanish and I can't speak it fluently or anything like that, but I can order a, a beer I can I can ask how to get a taxi. Um, so that's good enough for me at the moment. Keep, keep working on it. Oh, so you're testing me now with putting all the uh, the lingo in. You don't want it ghosting, do you, really? I've, I've noticed that when we get below, is it 50 miles per hour or something? Um, the cars start ghosting. And you probably don't want that on this off-road tracks, do you? Because you might be doing 50 miles an hour, but you're going sideways. So it doesn't really count as driving slow, does it? That being said... I'm not very quick. <laughs> Ten seconds behind the leader here. Flick it in. Go. It's like that uh, Grand Tour episode, the Scandi Flick, where James May had his accident in that tunnel. Um, if you've seen it, absolutely flying down some dark tunnel. In, a, in an Evo and then trying to stop at the end of it. What I suspect went wrong for him there was that he was having uh, the uh, studded tyres and I suspect on a gravel kind of track inside a dry tunnel it'll just skid which, it, which is what it did. <laughs> Right, flick it in and go. I feel like if uh, if people can afford to go out and buy Lamborghini Urus like this, they should they should do some kind of event where you get to go out on the snow and uh, blast it around like this. If you're spending that kind of money, was it two two hundred thousand pounds or something? I don't know how much these retail for in the in the real world, but it's probably a fair chunk of money. You should get some kind of track day or something, shouldn't you? For that that sort of money. I know with some cars, they actually do put you in a bit of a driver program, don't they? Is it Ferrari that do that, where you get... Um, you have to be invited, first of all. You, I don't think you can just go out and buy a Ferrari. Um, there's certain rules about being invited to buy certain cars 
um, much the same way we get the invites in this game um, and I don't know then if you get kind of a bit of driver training before they let you loose with it that's the one matey yeah Ferrari FXX that's the one I think I've seen uh, I've seen a, a, maybe a documentary or a program about that. It might have even been on Top Gear, to be honest. Who was that we've just overtaken? Was that the smooth operator? Right. Almost there. One more lap. And go. Yeah, should we do that? Should we try and uh, try and pretend I've got loads of cash and go? Invite me to buy a Ferrari, please. I don't think they'll fall for it. I think I'm uh, starting to get the hang of it, but uh, can't qualify myself as any kind of rally driver yet, a status. Fumbling my way around, you might say. Douche. Having an absolutely great time. Oh. Yellow flags. There we go, across the line. Awesome, awesome, awesome. That was awesome. How have we got that Lamborghini so clean there now? Look at that. Where's all the snow gone? And they're on the wrong track. Don't know what's going on there. Right. So it's Le Mans time. Le Mans and it's the Toyota GT1. I'll try and type this out if I can. Uh, toy shop. I'm trying to use the predictive text here. Toyota GT1. Right. Edit event. Uh, we're up to France now. Um, I know we sometimes like the no chicane one, but I'm going to go with, uh, I do have the Mercedes CLK actually, yes, um, I picked that up luckily when it was in the shop the other day. Do do do, I can't remember, is it group, are these group ones? Um. Yeah, if you don't have the GT1, buddy, just use uh, the next best thing. No worries. As long as... And I'm going to put this out there. Group 1, should we put Group 1? As long as it's not the Tomahawk. No Tomahawks, because that just owns everything, doesn't it? Um, that's the only rule. <laughs> yeah, you could use the Cooper again.
engine swap. The uh, Mini Cooper with um, the Toyota GT1. Right, manufacturer all the way at the bottom. There we go. What tyres have we got? Mediums. I'm going to go ahead and buy the the usual suspects just because it's always nice to have them. If you don't want to jump into a race and then it start raining and then you're like, oh no, I haven't got the wet tyres. <laughs> it's a Group 2 car, is it? If that's the case... Group 2, Group 2. Okay, I'm actually going to put that setting on then. Bear with me, chaps. Um, just so we're all kind of in the same ballpark then, right? No worries, GT. We can give you a few minutes if you've got some uh, network issues or anything like that. Just let us know um, if you're able to rejoin. Usually the old turn it off and on again might fix it if it's... Uh... Okay, yeah. I love the uh, the classic dials on this. The, the old is it um, LCD maybe, but it's like very kind of like it reminds me of those Casio kind of alarm clocks from like the really old days where it's that kind of very pixelated fonts. It's the best way I could describe it. Um, certainly not like the modern dashboards and displays you get nowadays. This feels amazing now. We've just come out of Lamborghinis on ice into a very focused track car with racing softs. It's like a completely different world. And a very different style of driving. But I love it. Breaking way too early there. This car's got so much handling and braking stopping ability. I need to push it to a bit more to the limit. I do have a disclaimer, chaps, as well. The qualifying for this is only five minutes long. And actually, that probably means it's going to be one lap, doesn't it? Or one lap and then maybe an extra one when the timer runs out and you'll, it'll let you finish your lap, I imagine. Um, so we might not even get two laps in, I don't know. But it's, it, yeah, we don't mind, do we? It's just a bit of fun. In equal parts, I love the handling of this car and I love the sound of it. I really hope that it's going to be competitive in the uh, 
in the daily races and things. Because we've seen a lot of people using the Mercedes, and that's been great. But we like a bit of variety, don't we? This car's great. You can really kind of lean into it, where you find you find your line into a corner, you get the right gear, and you can just build that throttle as you're going through it, and it really kind of holds the line. Some cars will just want to understeer, and you'll just feel them stepping out and out and out to the point where you then run out of track. But with this, it grips really well. And I suspect it's part of that is the aero, the lightness of it. Oh, I've uh, got that one a bit wrong, mind. But brilliant. I can't claim too much of uh, this because I do have traction control turned on still. If I turn that off, it could be a very different story. How are we doing, guys, in the lobby? Is anyone else joining with us? <laughs> yes, John. You'll be fine, buddy. It's money well spent. I can guarantee it. You won't be disappointed with this car. Even if you don't win races with it, if you just kind of enjoy it for driving it, you can't go wrong. And there's some cars on this game where you spend three or four million and you're like, oh my god, that was not worth it. I want that money back. <laughs> um, whereas this one, yeah, it's a good investment. Smooth operator, here we go. You guys keep me on my toes because I've noticed you've got different different names in the YouTube chat to names in the game so I'll have to kind of go match them up in my head and I'll try I'll try my best but if I get it wrong keep me right yeah right let me go back to the, the pits real quick everyone ready has everyone got racing softs to start with? Got the right tyres. Oh. Yeah, you'll have to uh, not quit out the race as such. Yeah, cancel the race, but don't quit out the lobby. You'll be able to go and buy some tyres, and then uh, then we're good to go. Right, I'm going to start it off. So this is just the qualifying. Yeah, a little spinny. I like that. <laughs> Did I go out the wrong pit exit there? <laughs> Where's GT Army going? 
I was like, is that the pit exit? I nearly followed you to be honest. Jairus, buddy, we're gonna have to uh, get you some some faster internet, mate. I can see your car jittering around a little bit t tonight. Right, hard on the brakes. Go, go, go. I've still got ghosting on. track limit. That's going to be me at the back of the grid now then, if that invalidates my time. Hi Jack, how you doing mate? Hope you're well. If you're online, if you're racing, come and join us. We've got an open lobby going. Um, I'd be on uh, PSN if it's easier to find the lobby as well. That was very close to that wall. Did Mohammed have a penalty as well? And that slipstream. Oh, someone's in the in the dirt GT army. Across the line. So I got a 3.33 with a penalty. Um, that could be my qualifying lap, but we'll see. Oh, I've always shot that. I think I uh, misled Mohammed there by having a terrible racing line, which I think you followed. <laughs> there you go, buddy. Oh, another penalty. To be honest, I should know better because um, uh, it's just five laps on Le Mans, uh, Jack. So that's about 20 minutes, right, in these cars. Oh, that was close. Skillful driving. Maybe by Mohammed, not by me. Oh, that slipstream! Look at us go. Zoom. N 
know the penalty. <laughs> No worries, Jack, but uh, yeah, you can uh, join the lobby and um, you'll be straight into the next race with us. Ten seconds. We're not going to finish this. Apologies guys, I, uh, I totally messed up the qualifying time for this track because, uh, you know, it's just not, it's a big track isn't it, so it's, uh, it's one of those things. Um, no worries. Very quickly, I just want to check in case I've got any friend requests. I should really do this on my phone, um, but let me just check. No, we're okay. We're all okay there. It started off. Good luck, everyone. Clean racing. Um, if you nudge anyone off, the only rule is just give them that space back. Just like slow down, let them let them go again. If you've nudged anyone off, anything like that, um, keep it clean as best you can. But we're all pretty good usually, so no worries there. Big fast, yeah. Big track, big fast, fast cars. By gosh, traction control really had to uh, work there in first gear to... Oh, I was just saying about nudging people off. Sorry man, it's, that's completely my fault. I went flying into that first, turn, first corner and um, yeah, I should have been much more cautious than that. So my apologies buddy. Smooth operator. That slipstream's working. Oh, squirrely. I'll, uh, I'll add that friend request in just a minute there, mate. So, no worries. As soon as we finish this race, I'll, uh, I'll add that. And we won't leave anyone behind if you're joining the lobby. We'll wait for you.
Oh, excellent. Jackie, I think you've managed to find us, yeah? I think you're in the lobby, yeah? Um, but I will accept that friend request as well, so you can jump in with us for the other races that we do. Um, every Tuesday, every Thursday, live streaming, open lobbies, just like this. One thing I've been considering about lining up, and it might take a little bit of planning if we're going to try and pull it off properly, is a bit of a um, bit of a championship or a kind of leaderboard where if we set up the uh, open lobbies. We'll get a series of tracks agreed amongst ourselves, pick a, a group of cars, and use the same car for every race that you come and do. Um, but we'll record the results in a bit of a leaderboard and we'll kind of dish points out and things like that, right? Try not to take it too seriously, but it means then you can kind of see where you are on a bit of a board and if you're kind of improving over time. Um, so if people are interested in that kind of thing, then let me know and I'll try and set something up and we'll, I'll get a bit of a dashboard set up so you can kind of see your points. Um, I'll be able to record them and that kind of stuff. So it'll be like a mini version of the Manufacturer's Cup. We'll have our own version of it. Yeah. Obviously, we organising a time that we're all available at the same time every week, you know, it might be tricky. But it's a case of if you're available, drop in, do a race, grab the points that you win from that race, add it to your kind of uh, your leaderboard, and then we'll see you at the next race. And just make it fairly casual. I can't promise that there'll be any prizes for first, second, and third, but maybe bragging rights initially. a great battle here with Smooth Operator. Keep switching positions. Very close up front. GT Army, Jarris. Very, very close. In terms of uh, fastest lap time, I saw a 3.29 pop up and then immediately 3.29 changed. But it looks very close. Go. Hey, we're catching here. Keep up this pace. Oh, that could be a penalty. Just running wide on the track there. Yeah, I thought that would be a penalty. Still getting to grips with the braking zones for this car, to be honest. Oh, sorry, sorry, smooth operator. Didn't see you coming through there, mate. I should have been watching my uh, blind spots and on the radar. Uh, so I might have turned into you a bit there. That's my fault.
That slipstream really makes a difference, doesn't it? You don't have to catch up quick. I think I might have mentioned this before to you guys, but uh, I did once do a 24-hour a charity race around this track, and um, it was one of the hardest things I've ever done, <laughs> because you, the tiredness sets in, and for me, I got, a, I got a second wind somewhere in the middle of the night, and then it got to kind of 6 o'clock in the morning, after I'd been racing for about, I don't know, maybe 12 hours. And um, yeah, you just you, your eyes start to do that thing where you like I'll just I'll just rest my eyes for a second, and then you you bang you hit a corner. <laughs> so it really made me uh, aware of what it must be like to drive tired um, and the dangers of it. But amazing experience to do, and I would. Although I'm kind of complaining a little bit, it was definitely worth it um, for the charity. We raised some good money, and um, I would strongly recommend if you get the opportunity to do something like that, to give it a go. can't claim that it'll make you a, a faster racing driver or anything like that if you're doing hundreds of laps around the same track again and again. You might get small improvements, but um, I tend to found, find that unless you're working on something in particular with your kind of racing lines, if you're just driving the track kind of in kind of autopilot mode, you're not really improving generally. Um, maybe slightly, but the big improvements are when you actually kind of break down how you're approaching corners and really putting some thought into it, you know, which usually involves kind of like the circuit experience, that kind of stuff. Um, but still on that journey to improve. We do have a Discord group as well, a uh, Discord server, that we call it, um, for Sedgy Racing, so please consider joining that. If you look into the main kind of YouTube page for this, um, one of the links at the top should be the Discord link. So let me know if you can find that and uh, join that, and that's where we'll be posting updates and events and things. So if we get round to sorting out this mini championship, we'll... Uh, We'll get the details added in there. And if people want to have a say in the cars that we use or the tracks that we do in it, um, yeah, more than welcome any suggestions. Three minutes 34 is our fastest lap so about five seconds off the pace there looking at that
Uh, right, is there a bit of a delay, is there, Jack? Um, I'm expecting there to be about a three second delay between what I'm seeing on my screen and then probably how you're seeing it through the channel, through the YouTube channel. If it's uh, significantly more than three seconds, though, uh, just let me know. Um, uh, it's another thing I'm trying to work on, to be honest, in terms of fine tuning the stream. You won't believe how many settings there are that you need to kind of play around with. Um, so just working on that. One second penalty there. Oh, another track penalty. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, the car looks hard to drive, Jack. It it might just be my driving, to be honest, buddy. Um, I'm still finding my feet with it. We'll get there, I'm sure. It's one of those cars that it's got lots of potential to be fast, and there will be some very very fast people driving this car. Um, get some very fast lap times, I suspect. So I'm not really on the limit with it, to be honest, of what, what this car is capable of. Oh, smooth operator. Hey, it's going to be close here because we're on the last lap, but I've got a two second penalty to serve. Right, right gear, second gear, I reckon. Go, 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 go. Can we get in the slipstream? Oh no, I cooked it. Don't sweat it, Jarris. It's all learning, mate. I know it can sometimes feel like you're banging your head against a wall with uh, getting used to driving, but um, it's all good experience. You'll learn far more from your mistakes than you will ever from winning races. All those times that you spin out or crash and you know what differently to do next time, so don't sweat it, man. It's all about having a good time as well. It's all about the fun of it. Right, what do we want to do now? What what race do we fancy doing now? I'm quickly going to add... Um, quickly going to add any requests. There we go. multi-class Le Mans no chicane we can try that so I'll, I'll take the restriction off uh, that could be the garage 56th entry of 
Again, my only rule is no tomahawks. I don't want to see them tomahawks flying around. Um, that's the only rule I've got. Uh, so let's go five laps again. Um, qualifying. Mm, I'm just going to leave qualifying. I know it's it's not. I know qualifying's a bit broken at the moment, there, isn't it? But I'll tell you what, I could do. Let's just do that. At least then we'll get round. So, no worries, Jack. Um, I think any car, any car you want, other than the uh, the tomahawk. I'm gonna wait and see what other people are using. Let's have a little look. Do you know what is? I might use this. I've just just acquired the uh, XJR. Is that in the wrong league, though? I don't think it is. Valkyrie's a, a lush car, isn't it? The Aston Martin Valkyrie. It's awesome. That's another car. If you get that, you think, oh, yeah, that's money well spent. And you might not use it all that often, to be honest, because it's... Uh, it's so overpowered, but um, it's great to drive. Oh, Black Eagle, Jack Sauber. Very good choice, my friend. Oh, and I like the livery on that Valkyrie, Jarris, as well. Very nice, man. Very, very cool. Yeah, this Camaro that I'm seeing here is going to be a bit of a sleeper car, I think. Here for America. Nice. I suspect that's got some beefy engine inside of it that's going to surprise us all. Um, how long are we going to... What time is it now? Start in two minutes. Just want to have a little, at least a little kind of dabble with this. Feels great. Yeah, I think I saw um, a couple of messages there about multi class races. I, I do like that idea. We kind of had um, a group, couple in group one, couple in group two, couple in group three. It kind of mixes the the race up, doesn't it? And you kind of almost will have to try and coordinate. Maybe we do that in it um, with the Discord if we can get into the Discord, make a, a channel there to talk about it. Yeah, I like the idea. Oops, sorry, Jarvis. What's that? Is that Joris? No, that was uh, Black Eagle Jack. Right. I think we're all in, aren't we? Everybody's in. Okay. I'm going to kick it off. Oh, someone's just joining.
Welcome, Ellie. Uh, yeah. I've uh, got someone joining. Initializing. I'll give it just a second. Jump in the gun. Yeah, I think we're all ready. Nice. I love how on the, uh, I don't know if you can see, it's probably behind my, um, my camera here, but there's a, there's a button on the dashboard of this car with just the word rain on it. So I don't know if that means that it'll start raining if you press the button. Sorry for a bit of chaos there, chaps. As I came out the pit lane, uh, some of the cars were kind of glitching backwards and forwards, and I don't know if it was just as we were loading in. So it, it might have been a bit bumpy as we were coming out the pits, I'm afraid. Right, let me get me uh, radar on. I can see where everyone is. So we've got a, a few mix of cars here, haven't we, today, in this race? Whoa. Speed and power. Oh, Jack. Using that slipstream effectively. And through goes Hamilton. I like the sound of the downshifts on this car. It does sound cool. <laughs> Noise. What do we think about the ghosting, chaps? As we get to the corners, I've noticed that when we get below, I don't know, what is it? 75, 50 miles an hour? It starts ghosting. Is that is that okay? Everyone happy with that? On these kind of high speed corners, it's probably helpful, but Bit of bump, bit of bump drafting. So it's a 3 minutes 30. I might have messed up here, chaps. I still think 2 minute overrun after the qualifying probably still isn't going to be enough, is it? The issue is, 
when you're choosing the qualifying time, you can either pick 5 minutes or 10 minutes. And I feel like 10 minutes or something like here is probably a bit overkill. Because you'll then be starting to do a third lap. And you don't really want to be doing 3 laps of this for qualifying, do you? Um, 2 laps is enough. I think I forgot to uh, change the track as well, chaps, didn't I? I know that we asked for um, no chicanes. So apologies for that. But, um, right, two minutes and then that's the end of our qualifying. Go, 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 go. Yeah, the Camaro uh, is fast, but turning it is not so easy. that penalty there we go where is everybody let's have a look at our map here see is that jack behind us in another jaguar xjr9 our teammate Not, we're just not quite going to get to the finish line here, I don't think. Oh, that's a shame. Right. Okay, I'll kick it off. We've got five laps to go with this. Yeah, best of luck, everyone. Have a good race. I want to see this Camaro on the straight on the straights and see what it's capable of. So we're away, we're on the move. <laughs> Where was that Dodge Viper going? Got a bit of bump, bump drafting going on.
slipstream. Let's go. Activate slipstream. Oh, robo strip. Oh, I've lost it. Ow. That that would have uh, hurt a bit. That would have been whiplash. Carried way too much speed into that corner. What was I thinking? I do like this jag. See the cars up front there. Let's try and catch them. Oh, yellow flags. Well, uh, maybe a helpful nudge for GT Army. I don't know if that, that was better or worse. <laughs> Sometimes it can be more distracting than helpful. Um, so apologies if that's the case. Eagle Jack just losing it on the bend there in the Sauber. GT Army coming flying up here. Bump drafting, look at that. We jumped up 10 miles per hour there. 222 miles per hour now. Awesome, awesome. Hard on the brakes. There you go. <laughs> We're catching up very fast now. Right, get ready to break. Oh, just running it wide a little bit there. <laughs> it's almost like someone's pressed the NOS button. And I'm getting a boost. I'm not com not going to complain about that. Hey, the exit speed GT's getting out them corners is hellish. I thought I was doing okay, and then the the big push is awesome. took that one a little bit more cautious this time after our incident running into the wall <laughs> that was perfectly timed with my gear change as well it was like dukadoosh Well, we're up into a podium position. We're in P3. We're on the podium. Oh no, track limits. Didn't know what gear to use there. I think I used all of them. 
Uh, it was very sloppy driving from me there. <laughs> Let's go! We're catching Ellie. Are we going to be able to reach 1.4 seconds? Get ready to break. Two, two, another second track limit. That could be my podium chances gone. We'll see. I think I've gained about 30 seconds here with the uh, bump drafting. that we're in, nearly up into p2 it's one of those races where actually being in first maybe isn't all that great because uh, everyone's stealing your slipstream behind oops sorry gt i didn't see you there mate go past so i'm gonna have to serve this this uh penalty don't wait for me. Somebody said they got a 2 minute 45 there. I've somehow found like a wormhole in the track and have cut out half of the track. <laughs> 345. Can't quite read the uh, chat from here. Alright, let's go. Speed and power. Oh, 223. That's the fastest we've been so far. No worries, GT. We'll catch you later, man. have to do this on my own steam now no helpful uh, bump drafting
There we go. Oh, we're catching Ellie up here. Can we do it with one lap to go? Maybe not if we have to serve this penalty. <laughs> go, and run gear as well. Oh dear. Just one lap to go. Three, about three minutes left of this race. I've absolutely loved this race because we don't often get the opportunity to drive these kind of group twos, group one cars. I know we're doing a mix here tonight. So these cars, it's been excellent just to uh, really give them a good thrashing and see what they're capable of. Ooh. Double shift, double tap. lost Ellie. So I've moved up into P2. Oh dear. So Spike, it's just me and you now, we're coming for you. Although 8.5 8 seconds, you've driven a very good race my friend. Can we get to the end without any more penalties? I reckon we can. We know where the white lines are, we need to avoid. Yeah, we, with the uh, with these kind of multi-class races, uh, John, we need a few more cars in the mix, don't we? Really, if we're going to do multi-class, we need either a full lobby where you can then be like sixteen cars, four or five cars in each sec uh, class. Otherwise, uh, you know, if if you've got five people in group ones and one person in group two, it's not really balanced, is it? So if, if we are going to start that kind of championship leaderboard idea, we'll maybe not start with a multi-class because I think that's going to add too much complexity to it in the early days until we get lots of people joining. Um, so we'll keep it simple probably. But 
there we go. That was your um, our first multi-class around the the south. Let's do that. Let's 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 go. Let's go classic, right? What I'm thinking. Let's go to Goodwood. Find the oldest car you've got that you think will give you the best driving enjoyment. So it's not about speed. Um, it's about the enjoyment of driving a, a classic car around um, around an old circuit like Goodwood. How's about that? Yeah, Jack, it was a unfortunate spin, wasn't it? And then to try and catch up from there, uh, very tricky, my friend. Um, especially as we said there, with that multi-class um, car system there, it was, wasn't the most balanced. So if you weren't in a Group 1 car, you, you're going to get left behind, unfortunately, with those fast, uh, fast straights. I'll just double-check that I haven't got any... Uh, any restrictions on here for cars I think we're okay aren't we so yeah as I said find um, old classic cars that's my only request here all classics <laughs> I love that there's a Willys Jeep as the first car that's kind of come up there brilliant Uh, so, is there a way to search by year? Oh, yes, there we go. Right. Uh, right, there's one car. Oh, yeah, there's one car in that group. That's maybe why it's like the earliest category. Um, I'm going to... Do we go 50s? What do we got here? I thought I would have had more cars earlier than that, to be honest. Quite surprising. Maybe Ferrari, a very old Ferrari, 250. I don't think I've driven that one yet. Um, the Alpine 220, Cobra, E-Type Jag. Some real classics here. What's in this category here? Starting to get a little bit more modern here, so that's not quite as old as I'd like, but uh, not too bad. We can wait. Yeah, we're not going to be in a rush to start this one. We just let people enjoy the car. Um, so um, obviously we're not going to be waiting all night, but uh, if if you just need a few minutes, that's not a problem, buddy. Do 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 do. Yeah, I'm going to go back to the 60s here. The 1960s. And I'm going to go with that. Um, and I'm going to put sports softs on it. I'm not going to go daft and put racing softs on, because that just would just, I think, ruin it. But sports softs might be fairly sensible. I like it, I like it. Let's give it a rev. I can see some donuts being uh, spun here. And we're away. I say we're away, I've just floored it there, nothing happened. <laughs> Inside view. Yeah, the feel of this car is just lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Only four gears in it, mind. It's not gonna be. Uh, it's not gonna be quick, but it's not what it's about. We're just enjoying the ride. And 
driving the car for what it was made for, you know. The enjoyment of driving. If people feel brave enough, get that traction control turned off. I'm not sure about ABS, I might keep ABS on. Whoa, I had to let go of the wheel there, that was going to be finger breaking territory. Um, but you know, in the olden days there was no traction control, was there? And to be honest, no power steering, so I should probably turn the uh, the force feedback right up. But um, I don't want to break my, thum my thumbs. Screaming, screaming away. Ooh, I nearly took off there, I think. Oh, taking a sign out. Oh no, I've scratched my uh, Ferrari. That's going to be an expensive repair. What I might suggest after this one, chaps, if uh, if you're keen for it, is we go and pick a track and we dig out things like Evos versus Subarus. So two, you get a choice of two, Mitsubishi Evo or Subaru Impreza. And we'll have a bit of a head-to-head. -head. We'll see which which car comes off, comes off best out of those two. And I know there's a couple of different variants, so... Feel free to choose one that you, you like the best. Obviously, we'll have tuned them up and things. I'm sure there'll, there'll be a few uh, modified cars, but that's okay. Oh, it's going round. Uh, let's continue, I think. There we go. I'm going to... Really quickly, I'm going to spectate because I want to see some of these cars that you guys are driving. So we're on board with Jackie at the moment. How do I change view? There we go. So you got a nice view of that Honda. Single seater. Listen to that engine. Those big exposed wheels. Big drift. <laughs> See if we can see what you see is. I love how on the back of this car you can see all of the exposed, um, you know, mechanics and differentials. Is that what, it, what you would class them as? Um, and that whole kind of rear axle is just completely exposed, isn't it? With all the suspension, it looks awesome. It feels very alive, that car, when you're driving it. I know from past experience. You can see it all kind of moving around. Very cool. We've got the uh, US Army Willys Jeep. <laughs> Very good. Bouncing, bouncing off road. I think is this the oldest car in the game? Is that right? In terms of uh, year it was released. Excellent, got all the gear on it. And now we're on board with Smooth Operator in the Ford GT. Now this looks like one of the early, early, very early prototype versions. Possibly the Le Mans edition. 
You can see that huge, is it an air intake in the back window there? It makes an awesome noise. A uh, big Ford, is it possibly a V8 in this? <laughs> Very nice. Very cool. All right. So I'm going to kick this off now. I think we're all in, aren't we? We're all in there. Is everyone happy with their choice of cars before we start it? Anybody want to change? Last last few minutes before we uh, kick it off. I might change actually, just because I fancy something a little bit different. I'm going to stick with the same same year. Uh, what was it? No, it was 60s. I might go with the Alpine, to be honest. So, last minute chaps, if you want to change any cars. Otherwise, if we're all ready, give me a thumbs up and I'll kick it off. Right, let's go for it. Oh, we're just changing. Ah, the spider. Ready, excellent. Good stuff. I don't know how much I've driven this uh, Alpine. Can't quite remember it. Alpine Renault. Very short wheelbase, isn't it? It's quite short front axle. I think it's got quite a lip on the front of it, the uh, aero. Here we go. We're on board. I don't know if you can see the dials in front of me. Is it the uh, the rev limiter? To be honest, it's, it seems to be ticking more like a clock. Oh gosh, I've lost that there. But th the dial is actually rotated round and it's on its side, isn't it? And th that's quite common. I know that Jack, in the Honda single seater, you've probably got a similar thing, right? Where your dials are rotated round, maybe? And that seems to be quite common in these old race cars. And the best explanation for it, for the reason why they did that, that I've seen, and I could be wrong on this, but uh, the best explanation I saw was it's just so when you're racing and you glance down, it's easier to see where the needle is if, it, if you've got the dials kind of rotated round to the point where... Um, you know, the highest number is at the top. Rather than trying to read a number, you just look at the, the actual dial. I love the gear change in this car as well. It's the way it clicks and it's like, kajush. feels very kind of mechanical. Can I speak German? Uh, no, I can't unfortunately, but um, I will I will add it to my list at some point. I do enjoy learning languages. I've just got into uh, learning languages. I should have done it long before now, but uh, as I say, going on holiday to different countries I like to try and make the effort to speak uh, the languages, so 
I get the time, I will certainly have a go at it. Duolingo. I've been using Duolingo for um, learning languages. Losing it there a bit. So 120. Smooth operator. What a lap time that is. Very quick. Very good. I'm enjoying driving this car very much though. What's the view at the back like? Not much there is there at the back of this one. You see the kind of the old rivets where they've kind of bonded the uh, the bodywork together. <laughs> so it's so easy to forget how cars were made back in the day. You know, actually like sheet metal, shaped, welded, riveted. Um, very different from how they make cars today with these kind of alloy composites and carbon fibre and all sorts of things going to the cars now. Thirty seconds, will I get to the line? Maybe. This is going to be any quicker. Oh, we're a bit slower. <laughs> the Willys Jeep. Blazing speed. <laughs> hey, but if you needed to go off road, you'd be uh, top tier. You'd be winning. And probably for. Its ability to just run for miles and miles and miles and never break down. I imagine it's got a good durability. Hellcat, 660 horsepower. Very cool. Oh, so it's a sleeper car, is it? It's going to suddenly... Uh you're going to unleash the beast. And across the line. Thank you for joining the uh, the Discord as well. If you've done that, um, you can find that link in the uh, in the page description, I believe, at the very top. Uh, that's where we'll be sharing all of the latest updates and things.
When I keep seeing uh, Jack's name, it, the Captain Jack Sparrow, I keep thinking of the Lonely Island song. Um, I don't know if you've heard that in the past. <laughs> Look at that Willy's Jeep go! Speed and power. I never thought I would see this. Chasing down a Willy's Jeep. There's <laughs> smoke coming out of it. I wonder if the gearbox is overheating after that engine swap. The uh, mechanics must be very creative with how they've managed to squeeze in a Hellcat engine into a Woody's Jeep. Some clever stuff going on. And I love the little anim animation that they do as well in this game, where they kind of just lob it in and then lob the other one away. And then he goes, thumbs up, job done. If only it was that easy, eh? Just remember, I've got I need to turn that traction control off. Get the authenticity. Come on, chaps, how have I got the fastest lap here? What's going on? You boys are much quicker than I am. Oh! Oh! See? <laughs> Commentator's curse. There we go. Get back on track. It's very bouncy off road here. Ah, uh, yeah. Forgot that. Uh, no traction control means spinny spinny time. You can certainly feel where the power band kicks in on this car. It seems to be like 7,000 revs and it just goes whoosh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to change my view. That's, that's, that's what's wrong. Can't see where I'm going. Right, it's Operation Catch Up now. Yeah, I think we'll for forgive you on this one, Jarvis, for the uh, the handling of the car you've got. I think that would be a handful in even the most experienced driver. When you consider that the handling and the error of that Willys Jeep is practically zero, isn't it? Um, you're basically driving around in a box. An overpowered box. Starting to feel it now. Thirty-three seconds. Oh my goodness, chaps! I 
Although, smooth operator. Are we still online? I think we may have disconnected temporarily there. Let me know if there's any issues on uh, YouTube, guys, in the chat, if you can. But uh, I think we've reconnected. Internet glitch at some point there, maybe. Right, last lap. Last one there is a loser. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. it <laughs> I had such high hopes well done Jack nicely raced my friend well done and excellent car choices as well chaps uh, loving this race Across the line. <laughs> I think I was gifted that one, maybe. <laughs> I love that, Jack. That oh, that Jeep was hard to overtake. When you're in a race car, it's hard to overtake uh, a Willys Jeep. It's something not right, is there? Oh, photo finish, yeah. That would make a good picture, actually, John. Um, should try and I should save that replay. Where is it? I'll save that replay, I think. Awesome. So, do we fancy doing a um, a choice of two cars? Mitsubishi Lancer, uh, the Evo, and Subaru. But there are some known issues about uh, lobbies like this uh, crashing and things. So, at least it's on the radar and they're going to try and fix it. Uh, I'll be very as quick as I can to try and get this loaded back in. Do, 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 do. Um. Mm, 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 mm. Nearly there, chaps. Um, I think that'll do for now. Oh, hang on. Right. We're back. Just whilst you're joining, I will try and see if I can uh, custom weather. So the deal is Evo or Scooby. Um. 
And I've probably spelt that wrong. But it doesn't matter. <laughs> you know what I mean. Um, manufacturer might be the quickest way, mightn't it? It's strange, you know, when I was growing up and you used to have these kind of pictures on your wall of cars, I'm sure everyone in this in this chat's done it as well, they had kind of your iconic car pictures on your wall and your bedroom wall. I always thought that Evo was the car I would I would love the most. But actually, on the sim, driving the, the Impreza I found much more enjoyable. Um... What have we got here? Got two two B. What tires we got on that? I'm going to put comfort softs on, which is probably going to be a disaster, but it'll be a laugh. No worries, John. Yep. Yeah, nip nip over and uh, grab one. You'll definitely use this car again. Um, really, uh, really you kind of universal car in terms of the races. You'll be able to use it on all sorts. Um, and actually, you can use it on one of the grind tracks, like the uh, the 30 minute um, Le Mans, where you get a really good payout of like 800,000 credits. So you'll be able to use it for all sorts. Give this a rev up. The iconic boxer engine sound. Can I keep traction control on just for now, actually? Um, I sort my diff out as well. Oh, there, here, comes, here comes that rain. Oh, that's a good shout. Should we do Audi R8s next, chaps? If it, does everybody have that? Either the new Audi R8 or the old one. Happy with whichever one you want to use. When I was younger, I used to have a remote control car with the uh, exact same livery as this one. World Rally Championship. Alright, traction control is coming off. Let's drive it properly. I feel bad, John. I feel like every race we're like, go buy this car. <laughs> we're spending all of your credits for you. It'll be building up your uh, collector level, so you, you can thank us for that, right? Try and do a bit of drifting if I can around here. No, nope. <laughs> skill issue. There's definitely a skill issue when it comes to uh, my drifting. I don't know if anyone's actually done the. Uh, there's a in the licenses. There's a drifting um, one that you need to complete. And my gosh, the hardest thing I've ever tried to do on a wheel. It's just for me. I've really struggled with that. I had to get, actually use a controller for it, which was semi-doable. <laughs> yeah, that went wrong. 
right. I'm looking forward to seeing what John's going to pull out of the bag here when he comes back into the lobby. Windscreen wipers keep coming on, but I'm not seeing any rain yet. So I don't know if that's good. One thing I'll do for the next race, guys, is uh, I'll probably turn off the ghosting. Because when we slow down like this, it's just your car's gone invisible, isn't it? It's quite annoying. It's all right for the uh, races where we're kind of not wanting to have too many accidents, but if we're just having a bit of play around like this, no worries, John. Yep. Yeah, if you need to take two minutes to get that get that car ready, that's okay. Down we go. Change down, come on. Hope if you're in the right gear. Can't quite. I'm trying to drift this car, get a bit of a power slide going around the corner, but I can't seem to get the, get the nose to to come round just enough. Still just stepping out of it. So they're almost there. I think my, uh, my line's probably wrong for drifting here, to be honest. Get a power slide round, it's not quite the right line. Jack's got the hang of it. Jack's doing a better, better job than me, I think. Handbrake, deploy handbrake if in doubt. Huge, huge power slide. I'm impressed that nobody's gone for a Fast and Furious livery on the car. But with the Evo, 
somebody would have been rocking the Fast and Furious look. Yeah, the, the handbrake's a tricky one to use on this game, isn't it? You almost have to just, like, tap it on and off. Uh, very kind of carefully. If you just hold it down, the car's just gone. Like, look at that. But you almost need to just, like, tap it just to get that slip. And then you can... Uh, and then get the power on again. Awesome. Right. I'm just going to go back to the lobby a sec. Oh, looking cool. Looking cool, all. And the uh, Scoobies and the Evos. So we're on board with Jack. Can we get um I'm liking the uh minimalist look on this uh Evo. Looks very very sick. We're now on board with Smooth Operator. All of the racing livery on. It's got a good sound to it, that Evo as well. On board with Smart, we've got a BMW in the mix. <laughs> An M3. Excellent. Excellent. Right, I'm going to kick this off, guys, because I think we're about ready, aren't we? Let me just see if... Uh, I'll say a quick welcome to... Um, smile 41. Uh, and we'll see if they have Evo or Subaru. I can't type. Here we go. Ah, it's a stock uh, Evo Jack. It, it looked like it's um, it looked like it's had a, a few kind of subtle modifications, but no, if that's uh, stock, it looks good, very good, man. Um, okay, okay. I think we'll just kick it off because I'm not sure if Smile's going to change the car there, so we'll just go for it. Oh, are we good changing? Yep, we are changing. Cool, 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 cool. Right. Let's do it. Uh, playing around with a few settings on the car. Traction controls come off. The differential being changed a little bit there. Windscreen wipers are on. Oh, we've got we've got a bit of wet on the track now, boys. This is going to make it interesting. So I bet none of us have got intermediates on. <laughs> 
But this is what it's all about. This is what these cars were made for. Having that four-wheel drive grip. A big slide from Smooth Operator there. How are we going to be doing for lap times? These are going to be reasonably quick, I think. One minute, four, something like that. Whoa, lots of smoke up ahead. Big big drifts all around. This looks great, chaps. All in unison, skidding around there. So 106, I got her there. 106.2. The trick is trying to minimise that drifting as much as possible. Because that's what's going to slow us down. You just want to kind of get around the corner as quick as you can which is kind of uh, stating the obvious Wow, Jarius, 101. Oh no! I was too busy looking at that lap time and being impressed by that, and then just completely took my eye off the ball. I got a 110 there. The good thing about this track is we can get a good couple of laps in. That rain seems to have gone as well now. I don't know if it's brightening up or whether. We're going to get a bit more of a downpour. I think I put it on random. Right, it's all about this last corner. Easy does it. It's gently, gently. Oh! <laughs> Smooth operator taking a wide line there. If you're quick, buddy, you'll get another lap in. Hey, I got a, I got a 110. So we're doing Audi r next, aren't we? That's going to be good. Looking forward to that one very much. Um, and we'll need a track as well. Any any suggestions for a good track for those? Maybe we do something like um, Red Bull Ring or... Whoa. Off I go. Well, 110 is going to be my best, I think. Nordschleifer. Oh, that's a shout, actually. Audi R8's around there. That'll really test them, won't it? Maybe we uh, do, like, two laps of that or something. We should have done Rallycross for this, shouldn't we, John? You're right, actually. With these cars would have been ideal for Rallycross. Never mind. Um, 
That's one to remember for the future, for the next time, maybe. Oh, I'm just losing it there. And across the line. Uh, welcome, Ray. Welcome, welcome. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to join this race. If can, can people join the race after Quali? If you load up quick. Uh, yeah, if, Ray, if you could, if if it let you join, uh, try and um, try and add a, a Subaru or an Evo if you can. Otherwise, um, oh, you'd have to go back to practice then race. Right, I tell you what, I'll, what I'll do is I'm just going to kick this one off, guys, because um, we're doing the Audi R8s next, aren't we? And that we're a bit of jump into that one, Ray. Um, so if you don't mind, buddy, give us give us a few minutes just to finish this race off. Um, and then we'll uh, let you in on the next one. Yep, no worries, Jack. Uh, if you need to nip out to go buy the car, that's no problem. Here we go. This is where we find out how quick the cars are. They seem to be fairly well balanced, actually, off the line. Yeah, no worries, Ray. I think. It's probably because we've already started a session. Uh, it wouldn't let you pick the car because uh, we'd already done the qualifying, you see. Um, but you'll be able to join the next one. And this won't take as long at all. You're looking at five minutes and we'll be finished this. neck and neck two litre turbos is that what these are <laughs> I think we all did the same thing there we kind of got it on a bit of a pivot on the front wheels that slipstream let's go <laughs> we should do a rally cross night guys a rally cross is such a good show should uh, spend a bit of time working on a, a really good kind of rally cross car, get your tuning set up, ready for it, 
and then we'll have a few good races on that. I don't claim to be very good at Rallycross, but because I know there's a bit of an art to it. It's all good, good practice and good experience. I find the dirt tracks on this quite tricky on this game, and especially using a, a wheel, it can be quite bouncy. Let's say. And the, the feedback just goes absolutely mental. And sometimes I resort to using a controller for the dirt tracks for that reason. You see a bit of rain coming again there, maybe. Two laps to go. Have I forgotten to turn off traction control? Oh yes, there we go. I think I just enjoy driving these kind of rally cars. I say rally cars, these rally cars for the road quite enjoy just driving them for the enjoyment I forget to actually try and try and get fast lap times <laughs> it's this big corner the big sweeping bend just keep struggling with it a little bit Last lap now. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Yes. <laughs> nice. How did you find that one, guys? Did you enjoy that? I thought that was pretty good. Right, now, guys. All right. Is your next car choice? So, if you need to nip out to go buy the car, that's no problem. And you can either get the new one or the old one. Yeah, that's all right. We can wait for people to sort sort that out. Whilst you're doing that. I will set the lobby up with the right track. <clears throat> um, we don't want five laps, that would be insane. Um, we're not going to have rain, but we're not going to have bright sunshine. Afternoon. Go with that. Do, 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 do. See how this goes. 
I've noticed that changing track last week that used to crash the lobbies sometimes. Uh, but this week it's been better. It's been a bit more stable. Do I have the old? Oh, yes. Uh, we'll go with the new one. Um, tires. I'm going to go sports soft. Just because I want the kind of feel of it to be fairly, uh, fairly legit, you know? We've got BOP turned on, haven't we, here? But uh, maybe that's okay. It'll keep us in the same... We turn that off, do we? I'm going to turn off BOP. I think it's that one, isn't it? Uh, we're just initialising. Give me a second, I'll change that once it settles. Is that going to work? Not yet. Jarius, I'm liking that uh, Audi R8 body kit, and that looks looks great with the uh, wing on the back. It's like the, um, what do they call it, the GT version, isn't it? And Ray's in the Civic, which looks like the spoon one. But if Ray, if you have a Audi R8, if you if you, if you're able to put that on, do, 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 do. right? Can we change that now? Yeah. Just turn BOP off. No worries, Ray. Uh, just use what you can then, that's okay. I'm not going to stress too much. That's alright. Um, in terms of power and things, PP, 650 PP is what I'm running. Just in case that's helpful for knowing kind of the right ballpark. But no worries if it's uh, a little bit above or below that. Right. Are we all in? We're all here, I think, aren't we? Are we missing anyone? I think we're all here. Um, oh, someone's joining. You set less than six fifty PP. Uh, I haven't I haven't put any restrictions on this uh, Ray. 
I wasn't going to do that, to be honest, because I don't want to then have to... Um, mean that people have to go and tune cars again and things. Do we want to do rain? Do we want... Do you want rain? I'm going to leave it as it is, Jack, just because people are getting in the cars now. We're almost there. Uh, so I'll kick this off. I'm looking forward to this. This is going to be good. We've got a dark and misty Nordschleifer, but should be dry. I'm just loading still. I'm, I'm not setting off yet. Oh, there we go. There was a bit of a lag there. I was revving and nothing was happening. Track seems dry to me. used to this yet. I'll try and keep out the way quicker cars coming through. Right, speed and power, let's go. I do like the... Uh... Whoa! Didn't know if we were going to be able to hold that one. I do like the, uh, the dashboard and the dials on the Audis, they're certainly the uh, the modern kind of digital displays where it's all integrated. <laughs> if I can get a lap down without crashing, that's going to be that's going to be good. <laughs> zone. I've been a bit ambitious putting sports softs on here for the Nodge Lifer because it's uh, it's one hell of a track, isn't it? Once I get the hang of it, you've got to kind of calibrate your brain for it, haven't you? You've got to go right. I'm in Nodge Lifer mode and drive kind of in a slightly unique way around this. It's not like most of the tracks because of all of the little dips and quirks in the track that you need to kind of learn. And I'm making a bit of a mess of it at the moment. big slam well if I get chance I might I might have to put some racing tires on this before we start but 
I'm struggling to even get get going. Actually, I think I know where I'm going wrong here. I think it's the, the mistake I was making earlier in the night with this car is changing down too early. you got to kind of brake and then change. Yeah. Are you struggling with it as well, Jack? Once it slides, it just goes, doesn't it? It just doesn't want to grip. So if people want to put your racing tires on I've got no problem with that if it means less uh, crashing and things I'm gonna do the same actually I'm gonna go back if it'll let me do that can I do that now So that should be a bit better. Don't worry about the wet track, guys. I think it should stay dry from what I remember putting into the settings. I know it looks cloudy and stuff, but it should stay dry. Oh, right. Yeah, that's it. One fast corner and the car says no. It's actually quite unforgiving, isn't it, this car? Um, in a sense. You need to be on it, kind of, all the time with it. Not an easy car to drive, I wouldn't say. The biggest thing I'm noticing from it is if you, when you're approaching a corner, if you break down too, if, if you change down too early, it really upsets the balance of the car. So what I've found is brake, then change. <laughs> and then there's a big spin. Look at that. I'll try that again. Just doesn't like slowing down for corners. And I don't know if it's a, a suspension thing. Maybe putting racing suspension on it and then sorting out the settings. Yeah. It's almost as you brake, it's kind of like spinning out either left or right. I never thought we'd struggle this much with it. But we like a challenge. Two minutes, and then we go racing. We've got two laps of this. If we can make it round. To drive this car on the limit is really tricky, I'm finding. Just bringing it down a bit, torn it down, and just... Yeah, <laughs> it's... <just laughs> that's, that's one way of putting it, Jarvis. You never know, it could be one of those things where, on face value, it's like, it's awful. But you might grow to love it, you might... But if you spend enough time with it and learn how to kind of tame the beast, maybe, maybe you'll love it. And you'll find your new favourite car. But right now, I'm not confident.
Yeah, it's better to try and drift it than it is to dri drive it on the limit. Almost if you kind of... Oh, I've almost shut that. Um, I know what you mean by that. Yeah. Because there's odd occasions where I'm starting to skid. And you feel like you can almost handle it. But if you're going too fast, like on the limit, then you're a goner. You know that we're struggling when none of us have really done a lap in the qualifying. It says something, doesn't it, about the car. So what I'd recommend for everyone when we get into this race is just try your best. Just try and enjoy the ride. We know we're not going to be pushing this car at the limit if it's uh, if it's like this to drive under race conditions. I mean, look at that. Just, we're just going to be spinning off every two minutes if you're trying to drive it on the limit. So I think what I'll be doing is just building up. Normally, I start high and then start to dial it back. But with this car tonight, I'll be doing the opposite. Enjoy, enjoy it as much as you can, yeah. I just, I've never driven a car like this, so where under braking it becomes so unbalanced. I think it needs stiffer suspension, because something strange is happening under braking. I actually might spend a bit of time and come up with a tune for this car because I think it would be hugely popular if we got got to the point where it becomes drivable. People will love this car then. It just needs a f bit tweaking, doesn't it? Yeah, maybe the brake sensitivity could be that, couldn't it? Like more to the rear. Break balance, maybe, or... Um, right, let's get this over with. <laughs> Good luck, everyone. Um, first prize for someone who gets around without crashing. That's basically how this is going to go. Yeah, if people want to do a, just a bit of a show run around the track tonight, rather than a head-to-head -head race, that's cool. I'm just going to try and get round without having any major crashes. I'm just going to try and stick with the pack and take it steady. Uh, it's just the trouble with it is it's so tempting to just get your foot down isn't it with the sound of that V10 you just want to floor it and maybe that's why we're uh, spinning out so much alright it could be bouncy over here oh I said didn't I I knew that was going to be the case, coming over that crest of that hill. Loss of grip. Alright, let's catch up. Alright, steady does it. Easy, easy driving. See, I wasn't even going that fast there. I say not that fast, so we're doing 100 mile an hour over a crest of a hill, but 
that's not ridiculous for a car, you know, that's got four-wheel drive, designed for this kind of stuff. I don't like being too negative about things, but this this car for me tonight has been a bit of a surprise, just with how kind of quirky it is. Yellow flags up ahead. Somebody else has maybe gone for a spin. Catching Jack up. Oh, I've done the same thing, Jack. Coming down that hill. Oh, that worked out okay. Oh, caught the grass. And just like that, it's gone. Trying to avoid the grass. Super, super slippy on there. Now, high speed bit up this hill. This is where it could be dicey. I wonder if this car would be like this to drive in real life. I, I mean, we would never be doing 100 mile an hour into corners and things like that on public roads, but uh, I'll bear the highway code and all that. But uh, I wonder if this car handles the same in real life as it does, as what the feedback we're getting from it tonight, guys. It would be a bit of a death trap if, uh, if that's the case. <laughs> Drifting through the carousel. change the uh, the power distribution no we can't on this oh. you just think that you're starting to get it you get a kind of false sense of confidence with it and you think I've tamed it I understand what I'm doing now you push it that little bit more and then it kicks you off
Yellow flags up ahead. I'm guessing a smoother op operator maybe had some fun with the carousel. Whoa. Watch the jump. Yeah, definitely, man. Watch everything, I think, with this car. Treat every corner like it's going to be a disaster. And then you might get through it okay. <laughs> seven gears, though. Is there seven gears? Yeah, yeah. It's not slow, is it? In a straight line, 200 mile an hour. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. This is going to end badly. <laughs> <laughs> We're both gone. We've got green flags. We're away again. I think Jarris has found the groove with it, and he's absolutely flying. Go careful on the crests of these hills, on the jumps, um, because we know what happens if you don't go steady. That's better. just it's the inability to catch a slide isn't it that's what makes this so hard to drive get around go it wouldn't be that bad if you could catch the slide and then you know correct it steer into it bit of throttle control It seems once it goes, and then it flicks the other way, and then the other way, and then the other way, and it just doesn't stop doing that. It's really tricky to get it back. And with it being a narrow track, you know, you haven't got the space either, I suppose, to, uh, to wait for it to balance out again. I'm going to stop complaining now, because <laughs> I feel like I've ripped this car to shreds tonight. through here. I know this tightens. As you go down past these little houses and things. Oh, yeah, that's tight.
Yep. Nope. Yep. <laughs> All right. Into the first carousel. We've given ourselves a great challenge here, haven't we, chaps? With this this track coupled with these cars, I think it has really tested us. It's been good. And this is the kind of driving experience, isn't it, that you want? Because it's all about learning that feel about what's going to happen and how to try and correct it. going to get round in a minute and 23 seconds I doubt it I don't think I'm going to be able to get to the finish line but you never know got the big straight to get down um, second carousel Come on, 40 seconds. Can we do it? I think it'll be close. It's going to be very close. Yeah, GG, Jarvis. Good race, my friend. You drove that very well. Because I know how hard this car is to drive, and you've, you've done really well there, man. Oh no. Try and keep it in a straight line. Oh, three seconds. Just a shame. Never mind. Wow, what a challenge, eh, chaps? What a challenge that was. <laughs> Excellent, excellent. Great stuff. Right. I'm thinking one more race for me, guys, and then I'm probably out, because that, that race really took it out of me. <laughs> um, so I'm thinking one more. Um, what about... Do, 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 do. do you have any, any suggestions? I was going to suggest Laguna Seca with American muscle cars so um, put it on five laps again uh, we'll sort the weather out let's make it uh, pleasant so let's go to America now So we're talking Mustangs, we're talking HP limit on. Yeah, let's let's put the PP limit on. Let's put PP of 600. So give me two seconds to do that. Oh, I also need to change qualifying down a bit. Um, where's that? I'll make that just five minutes, that'll do. And... I'm 
going to go 600. Which I think is more than enough, isn't it, for around here? Right. So what are we going to go for? Change car. Any American car, basically, chaps. Um, country. Under 600. I've got a couple there where I could maybe change tyres and it might bring it under 600, but... Um Certainly things like the Hellcat is not, and the Demon, sorry, is not going to be getting under 600, I don't think. Uh, I might go for a Viper, you know, or something like that. Viper or six. Hmm. Let me go with that one. What tyres have we got? So if I put racing soft, uh, sports softs on it, sorry. What's that going to look like? Five eight eight. And I have another one. Um, USA. And uh, we're looking for the slightly newer one. Oh, six or six. Um, but I'll bring that down a bit by using the power restrictor. Oh, actually, ballast will do it, maybe. Where are we at? Ballast. Five nine nine. Can't get much closer than that, chaps. drive first then we'll kick it off this will probably be my last one tonight guys but i want to say huge huge thank you for all of you who've participated and it's been really great racing really enjoyed it we've come up with some some brilliant races even that audi r8 one i know we i complained a bucket full about that but it's been a really good challenge and i'm looking forward to some of the rally cross ones we'll pull together and if we get, if I get a chance, we'll uh, sort out that mini kind of racing championship league. And I'll put the bits together so we can keep track of scores and all that stuff. I'll be able to do some fancy graphs with uh, points versus races done and all that kind of stuff once we get some data on the board. Dodge Viper, is it the SRT one? Maybe. Got that classic American sound.
Right, I'll kick it off, I think. If we're about ready. So, good luck everyone. Here we go, qualifying. <laughs> Almost. I love the glowing dials on this, uh, on the dash on this car. Very cool. Let's get my view sorted out. it there. I'll give these guys a minute to get through before we get out of the racing line. I'm liking the, uh, is it a Ford Mustang Jack you've got? The, the boss one. That looks very cool. But that's fun to drive. Possibly a bit of a handful, but good fun. Drag race. Hi GT. Oh, just running off wide there. The uh, the bump drafting was definitely uh, helping me a lot. I remember it was very good. You missed an awesome race, GT. We just did Audi R8s around the Nordschleife, which was very interesting indeed. One of the hardest races I've done in a while. Can't do it uh, tonight, buddy, because uh, this is my last race, unfortunately. I'm heading off after this one. But um, we'll definitely do the more of the Le Mans again. 100%. 
and we've got a, a good couple of other races lined up. We're going to be doing Rally Cross. We're going to be doing um, a championship race with a series of uh, different tracks where we all maybe stick to the same cars and we kind of fill out a bit of a leaderboard. So lots of things in the pipeline. And if you can add onto the Discord group, we'll be able to talk about next steps and plan some stuff in. Excellent, that's great. Awesome. 136, 135. Wow. waiting for this to uh, come to a conclusion. It's a shame you can't um, spectate the cars whilst it's doing this. What's been everyone's favourite race tonight? I think I've enjoyed the, uh, weirdly, I've enjoyed the Lamborghini Urus around um, Lake Louise on the snow. I think that was my favourite race tonight out of all of them. I'm going to kick this off. This is our last race. Actually, hang on. If I quit, ah, uh, I might have, I might have broken that. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Let me, let me set that up again. We'll, we'll just go straight into the race. I made a right mess of that, didn't I? User error. <laughs> But given it's the last one, we've got to uh, we've got to get everyone in, haven't we? Right, I'll be very quick getting this set up again. I know all the settings we need. Uh, do 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 do. So of that, it was uh, six hundred pp. So. Um, that's the limit you want for the American cars. Um, very quickly, no limit on tyres. Yeah, I think that's it. Um, I'll just do practice race and then it should kick it off when I uh, when I say so. Do, 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 do. Very quickly check everything else. BOP, turn that off. Yeah. Sorry about that, guys. It's a uh, user error. Yeah, only American cars uh, for this one. There's some good choices there to choose from. So we've got. 
as close as you can to 600 pp. And as soon as you're ready, give me a thumbs up and I'll kick it off. So no qualifying, I'm afraid, but we're going straight into it. Oh, nice. 599.99. <laughs> I've got quite a few people coming in now as well. I'll just say USA cars only. Unfortunately, I can't add that uh, limitation into the... Uh, Everyone getting the cars, yep, yeah, we're all good. Nice. The the tundra, is that is that American? Could I be thinking that's Japanese? I dunno. person joining. I'm just going to give them just a second. I'll mention it again. <laughs> We're seeing a lot of non-USA cars being chosen here. I wonder if people haven't got USA cars that are nearing the 600 limit. Pantera, that is a USA car, isn't it? So we'll give them that one. I think that's right. I'm looking forward to seeing this Tesla just absolutely disappear on the... Uh... <laughs> I might just kick it off, to be honest. I think we're... Uh, people are changing cars now. There we go. We've got a BMW that's still there, um, and the Tundra. I'll maybe just kick it off, guys. It won't let me start it whilst uh, someone's loading, unfortunately, so I'm not going to try and kick it off just yet. But uh, once they've loaded in, we'll say it one more time for good measure and also start soon. Over the left.
Yeah. Forward focus, that, that's American. Uh, it's hard to tell if people are still picking cars. Ford, yeah, Ford Raptor, that's American. Yeah. Um, it's just Danny now. If, if Danny can get an American car, then we've got a full house. I'm going to do it. Good luck everyone. This could be absolutely crazy. I've got no idea where we are on the grid as well. Where's the Tesla? GT, P5. Uh, it's put me in P1, I don't know why. I don't think I'm going to be the quickest off the line with some of these cars behind me. And through goes the Tesla. <laughs> that Ford Focus RS actually looks Nicely modified. That looks rapid. Apologies, smooth operator, if I'm, I had the wrong radar up there. I couldn't see you coming through, buddy. I'll try and make some space, though. It's like old meets new, isn't it, with that Corvette and the Tesla. Old school, new school. Definitely didn't cut the corner there. Are there any other electric cars in the game, do we know? Is it just the Tesla that's the only electric car in this game? In terms of uh, kind of road legal cars, that would be. I know there might be a few kind of vision ones. Like the, the VGTs, I'm sure some of those are electric. We could do, we could maybe do a Tesla um, race at one point. Not tonight though unfortunately but uh, getting a bit late for that but end of the night we'll do that. Project Evil is doing very well in that um, Ford Focus RS. It looked, as I say, it looked nicely modified and I think it had been tuned quite well because uh, it looked very stable through the first corners. So I was Expecting good things from it. How are we doing there? There goes the. Oh. Oh. Can we hold it? Can we hold it? Can we hold it? Oh, that was nearly a thumb breaker. you got to try, haven't you?
I hope there's not some uh, bashing going on here, boys. I'm not sure if the uh, tundra was getting a bit out of shape. A 132 from the Focus RS. We just got a 137. So it shows how much quicker that is. That's really, uh, and it, we've got the same PP, right? Very wrong. And the uh, corkscrew. <laughs> Just seen the, the tundras battling away. It's like Clash of the Titans. <laughs> Whoops. We're on a fastest lap here. I don't know how that's happened. That would be another good idea for a race, guys, if we do kind of a, a cops and robbers style event where, you know, there's, um, all of us are in various sports cars and we have to try and get away from uh, someone in like an overpowered truck with kind of police livery on it or something like that. And it's a battle to see who can finish the race without getting bashed off. Here we go, last corner. Oh, it's going to be a drag race to the finish. Can we use Slipstream? No, nope, that Tesla's just got too much power. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Doesn't break or steer. Yeah, very fast, but then not so great in the corners. It's 
mad, isn't it, how heavy the uh, the Teslas are. The battery packs must be so heavy. <laughs> that Pantera as well looked like it was doing very well around there. Almost looks a bit like a Ferrari, doesn't it? It's got that kind of same but, um, body shape to it. But that's been absolutely fantastic tonight. Hi, Christian. Congratulations, buddy, on that race. That You did very well there. Very good. Awesome. Right. I think I'm going to leave that there for tonight because that's been absolutely fantastic racing. Um, yeah, let's play again. Um, keep an eye out for the next um, events. So every Tuesday and Thursdays, we're going to be doing lobbies just like this. Um, yeah, hit those GGs up. And if you could hit that like button, guys, on the way out, that would be super fantastic. Um, but thank you, everyone, for all your support and all the racing tonight. We've had some great, uh, some great battles. Um, it's been awesome. So, yeah, and join the Discord as well because we've got some exciting events coming up through there. So if you want to have a say on the tracks, the cars, the events, uh, join the Discord and, and get involved. But otherwise, uh, peace out, and we'll see you on the next one. Mm -hmm.